Hi everybody, it's Ruth here from Artful Stampin'. Today's One Sheet Wonder Wednesday is live, woohoo! Um, so basically, it's got to the end of the day and I haven't got a video to put up and for you, so I thought I'd quickly come on here. Now, um, I'm not doing this completely off the top of my head because I had a play with these two stamp sets a while back just on my own in my craft room and I really love the results and was planning to share the results with you so I'm using crackle paint and needle and thread also the I've just kind of gone for four colors I don't think I'm going to need any extras so I've got soft suede here mint macaron lovely lipstick and Sahara sand hi Sue nice to see you okay so as this is a live video I will be probably saying hello to the odd people as they come in um, also, um, I'm going to be sitting down in a second, so I might not always be able to answer uh, any questions immediately. So uh, just bear with me if you ask a question, I'll, I'll come back to you. Hi Zoe, lovely to see you. So one of the comments I had about a week ago, or actually it was a private message, somebody messaged me, and this lady was saying how she'd like to understand a little bit more of my thought processes um, as I stamp because she felt that um, when she went to stamp, it looked like you know a child had done it and wondered how I got the results that I got. And so what I'm going to try and do as I do some stamping now is to kind of talk you through it as to what I'm thinking so that you understand you know, why I'm placing certain things in certain places. Sorry, I'm just, just feeling the bottom of my paper there. And I felt there was this lump, and it's like this lump of goo. <laughs> so always do check that. Make sure your surface is nice and flat, because you never know what might have got trapped underneath your scrap paper. Okay, so I'm going to get my head down now. So if you do have any questions, please do feel free to type. However, um, I may not see them straight away, so just give me a few minutes. Let me just have a little drink of tea and then I will be ready. So, we've got this beautiful stamp set here. And I have to say this, occasionally Stampin' Up! will come out with a stamp set that I think is really, really well designed. And the reason why I think it is so well designed of the different elements that are contained in the stamp set and then what you're able to then do with it. Just going to grab some blocks. Sorry about that guys, I've forgotten that I'd packed for a class and all my little blocks are in my bag. So I'm just going to grab a few of these. Okay, so as I was saying, this stamp set is very, very well designed because you have different elements within it, but yet they all kind of work really, really beautifully well together. So although this is a one sheet wonder, I'm going to be stamping this sheet of cardstock. I'm also going to be in my head kind of splitting it up and actually doing four different types of kind of layouts with you. And I think in order just to keep my thought process is clear. I'm just going to score this cardstock. Oh, sorry about that. Getting notifications. Let me just switch that off a second. There we go. Is that better? There we go. I'm just going to score there and there so that um, I have an idea of where I'm heading. So this stamp set here has lots of varying elements. We have a couple of bold images and they're varying in size, which is great. And then we have some nice sort of smaller elements. These little itty bitty bits here, which are just lovely for creating your own pictures as you go along. Okay, so let's get a block for those stamps there for a second okay so I'm going to start off by going for a traditional what I would call a um, sort of almost like a bouquet type look 
Hello. Okay, so I'm just kind of catch up with um these messages. Hi Ruth, I'm so happy to catch you. Yay, I love One Sheet Wonders. Hi Laurie from Canada. Do I do a live every week? No, I don't do a live every week. And hi Christine, nice to see you. Um, I kind of sometimes do the lives when I have not got a video ready to go on my YouTube channel. I have got a video that I'm in the process of editing at the moment but I didn't have a one sheet wonder Wednesday for today because I like doing one sheet wonders on a Wednesday and um yeah I just didn't want to disappoint my friends because <laughs> I know you guys are used to seeing one sheet wonders on a Wednesday so there we go okay so for this section I'm going for a more traditional kind of like bouquet look so I'm gonna have just this lovely large flower as my focal point Okay, so that's my focal point there. And then I've got this smaller flower. And I'm going to stamp three of these. And I'm hoping this is going to kind of work out how I want it to. So I'm going to go. And don't be afraid of kind of overlapping a little bit if you have to. Because after all, if you had a bouquet of flowers, they would overlap. They wouldn't just sort of be spaced out. So I'm just going to pop those three there like that. Then I've got this one here, which has got three gorgeous little flowers on it. And I'm actually going to stamp off first before stamping these on because I want these as a lighter image in the background. Then I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist and then stamp again. Okay, so let's stamp off, stamp on, give it a little twist. Am I going? And then stamp again. And I'm keeping everything very close and tight in there like that. So stamp off, tuck that one into there, and then give it a bit of a twist and stamp again. And then this area is a little bit empty, so I'm going to start bringing some flowers down here as well. So tuck that right in there. And then pop that into there like that. So I'm keeping everything very, very sort of tight in here. So don't forget, you do have a really pretty leaf with this stamp set. And also you have this le leaves here, which are actually designed to be stamped either side of the flower there. Can you see that? But you can use it on its own if you just ink up... Um, part of it which is what I quite like to do sometimes so let's pop the pink so this is lovely lipstick that I've been using it's a really gorgeous deep raspberry-ish pink colour so get this one out ready now where did I put that leaf oh here <laughs> couldn't see it then Okay, so I'm going to just ink up this portion of the leaf here and just tuck some of these behind some of these. Petals like that. And as you can see, I'm not worrying too much that it's overlapping. Okay. Because unless I want to do some lots of fancy fancy masking and take loads of time it's it you know unfortunately it's just, just not going to happen with me so it's okay to have it overlapping it's it's giving a feeling of a bouquet which is you know what we want really so I'm just gonna and you can see that I'm stamping off I'm doing not stamping off I'm doing a second generation stamping there I'm just gonna pop some leaves down here as well and then I I think there's probably a little bit of room for one here as well. So I'm keeping everything very tight in. Let's see if I can get you a bit closer so you can see what's happening there. Okay, can you see that? And then, um, now you don't have to use every single stamp in the um, stamp set. Um, I want to introduce now the crackle stamp. So where have I put that? Just off to the side here. And I'm actually just going to use this straight in my hands. I'm not going to 
apply it onto the block because I want to have quite a lot of control as to where I stamp. Okay, so I'm just bending it over. Let's get some. Oh, oh, no, that way. That's better. Um, so I'm just get, getting a bit of ink onto there like that. I'm just going to fill in some of the spaces around like that. Okay, can you see how I'm doing that? And again, it doesn't matter that it's overlapping, and I'm just rolling it in there, trying to use up or clear up some of this space that's here. So that's that. And then if we wanted to add just a little bit of a floaty aspect with the butterflies, I've got the gorgeous little butterflies here, and I think I might do that in the soft suede, just to be a bit different. And we might have these butterflies then flying off like that from the flowers. Okay, so that's if I just cover that up so that you can see that that's the focal point there. Okay, so that's number one done. So the next one I want to do is to focus on the florals coming down the side rather than being having that central focus there. Where did I put lovely lipstick? Here it is. Okay. And actually for this one I think I might also do the crackle stamp first. So I've got the Sahara sand here and I'm just going to ink up down the side. I'm not going to ink the whole stamp up, I'm just going to ink up part of it. And then I'm going to lay that down like that. And I'm not laying, can you see I'm not, I'm holding this up a little bit because I just want to stamp a little bit and then put a little bit of pressure in various places because I want this to be a jagged edge like that. Can you see that? Okay. So then I'm going to come in with the florals. Can you see? Okay, yep. And I'm going to do a row of flowers up the side. And they're all going to, all going to be the big one. I'm going to mix and match with the smaller one. Oop, I didn't press down hard enough on that one, did I? Okay. Remember, we've got these ones here. And there's this beautiful kind of filigree looking stamp here, which is gorgeous. I'm going to just come in here now with the crumb cake for that one. Oops. I'm going to turn this round so that you can see better what I'm doing. So now time for a little bit of greenery. Oh, and I think this time I'm going to use the other end. Let's get this one up here. Yeah, this one here.
All right, that's lovely. And then some more of these beautiful leaves in here. We have these flowing away and up. Okay, how does that look? Hi Geraldine! Hi Sue from the UK! <laughs> okay, so that's two different types of layouts. So I've got that central one there and then the one that's working sort of more from the side. Okay, so then another one that I would do is where perhaps we have a focus in the corner There we go. Um, and this time, I think I'm going to forego using this large one and just have this one here and some of the others. So I'm going to do a cluster of three. One, two, three. Then I might just stamp off there and then stamp off again there. Oh, this ink is really, because this ink is so strong, you can actually get a few different impressions off this one. Okay, so we're kind of creating a, a bit of an L shape with this. Okay, you see how that's working? Then again, come in with these little floor elements. And just go up like that, and then this one to the side. Maybe we'll just squeeze another one in here as well. Okay, so we're still going for that L kind of shape there. And then let's bring in some of these leaves. So this time I think I'm going to stamp these in soft suede. So I miss those comments. Thank you, ladies. You've been very kind. Okay, so pop that into there. And put a leaf into there. Okay, again, still keeping with the, trying to keep with the L there. Now, there are a couple of little stamps that I haven't used yet. There's this beautiful little butterfly one and these tiny little crosses, which I love these, just for creating a little bit of added texture in the background. So I'm going to use a very light, so this is the Sahara Sand, and I'm just going to do a few little clusters of crosses. You see I'm stamping three times out of one inking. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I don't know if you can see the detail if it's coming through on the video, but I will put the photos of these up on my blog in the next few days so that you can see the detail clearer. And um, there will be a link in the description of this video in the next couple of days that, that will link directly to those photographs because I'm not sure always that YouTube picks up on the detail there. I'll see if I can get in a bit closer for you so that you can see that. Okay, can you see those little crosses there? Okay. So then we've got the little butterfly and we haven't done any green so far, so um, let's have a little green butterfly. So I'm going to bring the mint macaron back in. Have a little green one. And then we've got the tiny cluster. I just need to make sure this is clean, so I'm just going to give this a bit of a spritz and a wipe. Yep, yeah, that's not too bad. I'm going to have some of these little 
butterflies flying off. All right, now you probably notice that I haven't put any sentiments on these so far because I just want want to leave it as it is to let you, um, you know, play with the stamps and see, decide what you want to do. Um, either you can stamp them directly on or you can stamp them, punch them out and then stick them on afterwards. Uh, it's up to you. So that one I didn't end up using the crackle uh, stamp at all. So for this final one now, I want to do a little design in the corner and then at the bottom as well. Now what's happened to my... Oh, can you... oh that's better. Sorry about that. Right, so I'm just going to grab my crackle stamp again and again just ink up a portion of it. And I'm just going to lay down a little bit at the top there and then I might just move down a bit and do a little section there and then do a little bit of a bit there. Okay, that's all they need to do. Now, the other thing that's really pretty about these, we've got these lovely long, almost stitch like effect stamps. Don't forget about those either. So let's swap that out and pop that on there. And I'm going to just add some elements now while I remember. Now hold on, which is the best way to go with this? Go that way for now. Can you see me? Yep. Okay. So I'm just going to ink up. Oh, just want to make sure this stump is stuck on. There we go, that's better. Okay, so I just want to add some little almost like drippy elements. Okay, as if things are hanging down, that's the kind of look that I want. And I'm just cleaning off my stamp a little bit because I don't want it to encroach on this, this piece here. So I'm just going to get a little bit of ink like that. And stamp again. And then just do... Um, Clean that off. There we go. That's all I need. Okay. Now that I find too, it, that is too um, uniform. So I'm just going to add more into there. Oh, actually, no. There's the other one. I'll I'll put the other one in there. Let's swap that out. bit too uniform for me, for my liking. There we go. I'm just going to ink up a bit for this one now. There we go. Right, that will do. Right, pop the grounds to one side now. And this time, I think, what because I want this um, beautiful lacy stamp to really stand out, I'm actually going to stamp this in the lovely lipstick. Okay, let's have that across the top there. And then along the bottom there, like that. Okay. Then, let's have a think. I'm wondering if it would be quite fun just to use these small ones and see what happens. I can always change my mind if I don't like it. Okay. Okay, so you, did you see what kind of happened there? I did sort of, I stamped with that circular flower at the bottom right. And then I stamped again with it there and then stamped again. So I've ended up with a little cluster of those three circular ones. So it's quite fun to sort of see what happens when you 
play with the placement of things. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, I might just, I just want something to come down this way here now. So I'm going to, there we go. Now I wonder what it would look like if I did this flower in soft suede. Ooh, it's quite dramatic. Oh, that wasn't quite what I expected, but there we go. And now that's turned up quite dark, so I'm wondering whether to balance it up then with putting some dark leaves around it as well. Okay, so when that happens in stamping, when you go, oh, I didn't expect that to look like that, don't panic. Okay, just think about what it's done. So for me, it created a really huge contrast. So to soften the contrast, I've gone in now with these dark leaves and having them fade off. And that seems to have worked to rebalance it all back up again. So even when you're working, don't, don't get into too much of a panic if something doesn't work out how you thought it was. Just keep going and it's, after all, it's only paper, it's only ink. Okay, you can chuck it in the bin afterwards if you don't like it. But just, you know, you sometimes make use of the unexpected. See, see where it goes, see what happens. Okay. So let's use these darling little butterflies. Now, do we want a little bit of green in here now? I think so. Let's get a little bit of these mint macaron butterflies to be flying off. There we go. How cute are they? And then maybe some up there, and then some there, and then there is this one. Okay, I'm going to have this one flying. little crosses. Let's get those crosses in. So these tiny stamps are great for softening the edges of your design. So you see how this is quite a harsh edge here. So just to soften it a little bit, I'm just going to add some of that green in there. And then also obviously for filling in gaps if there are gaps in your work that you think, oh, I just, it's a bit too white or, or clear. I just need more in there. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. <coughs> So just to remind you, we use lovely lipstick, soft suede, Sahara sand and mint macaron. Obviously, if you don't have these inks, just, you know, use whatever you have. But basically, I went for two darker tones or mid tones and then two lighter tones or colours rather. And then remember, you can always stamp off or you can do second generation stamping to create depth. Okay, so I'm now going to just cut these up into the sizes that I would use to then mat onto something else. Oh, I think I'm going to cut it this way first actually. So let's have a look. And then when you see them individually you might get a better idea of what I was trying to do. Ten centimeters. Okay. 
I can see some of you have commented. I'll, I will have a look in a second. Get these cut and then I'll check what the comments were. Okay, so this one you need to just be aware of how you cut it because you kind of want that to be central. So. So these two stamp sets are in the current spring-summer catalogue. If you'd like to purchase any of them, you're from the UK or Europe, if you go to artfulstampin.co.uk, um, you can purchase them. Remember, it's celebration at the moment, if you're watching this in between January and March, not January and March, it is March, what am I talking about? If you're watching this in March 2019, you can uh, earn free product after spending £45. Okay, let's get these laid out so they're a bit easier for you to see. Get a piece of paper there. Okay, so let's just go over the first one. So there's that one there. Let's get a bit closer. So, right, let's have a look. Have we got any comments I need answering? Uh, hi from Iowa. Hi, you didn't like this stamp now, but you do. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, lovely. Okay, so if you do have any questions, please fire them now so that I, I'll answer them before I go. So this is the one where we focused on having a central design with the flowers and then kind of, and, and I don't know if you've noticed, the, the larger images are in the middle and then the smaller images are going out and then also the darker colour all the darker tones are in the middle and then the lighter tones are going out. So do bear that in mind, okay? when you're trying to create a bouquet sort of looking like look you know that kind of or posy looking design you want darker and larger and then going out smaller and lighter okay so and look it doesn't matter that it's not symmetrical okay it tends to not happen that way in real life but it is balanced okay so you're looking for balance rather than um, symmetry sometimes symmetry makes it kind of look fake if you know what I mean. Um, I've done workshops with children and more often than not children really love, they love symmetry. They will come along and they will, actually I'll show you how they do it, um, see if I can find some cardstock. Um, and it's not that they're doing it wrong, it's just that I think when they're young and learning design in school, um, I don't know. They get. I don't know whether whether it's taught to them or whether it is natural. It, it comes naturally. I do not know. Um, I'd be really interested to find out. But this is what kids tend to do. Um, they they love symmetry. So they'll go. Oh, I want one of those there, and I want one of those there to balance. And oh, it's got four corners. This piece of paper. So I'm going to have to put one there, and then have to put one there. Okay. So this is how a, ch a child generally just starts out their designs. But what they don't realise, and this is um, something that I've learned more more recently as to why this is the case, but actually um, when you look at a piece of artwork, um, these are not the points that you generally are focused at. The power points are actually these points here, okay? Here, here, here and here. So if I just turn that piece of cardstock over, now if you really love symmetry and you really are wanting to do the four corners that's absolutely fine but just bring it in a little bit closer here 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 and here okay and it tends to be that whenever we're doing classic card designs you know a beautiful card can look fabulous just with that that, that design there you know i'm not knocking it um but just bring it in a little bit from the edge so watch this now i'm just going to put connect the dots as it were Let's pop some leaves into here. Okay, that works, that's fine. But if I'd left it like that, that doesn't work. Okay, now if you wanted to create a border, now that's a whole different story. If you want to create a border, okay, that's different. But, um, in terms of 
PowerPoints and where the eye is drawn, this is much better off. Okay, I, I veered off then. Come back to class, Ruth. <laughs> so let's go to the next one. So the next card is this one here, where you just focus all the, the depth of colour and the design on one side and then start to veer off lighter and smaller. Okay. Now you can have your card that way up, you can have it that way up, that way up, or that way up. It's completely up to you. And if you were doing a one sheet wonder where you were stamping four of these cards in one go, you would actually just stamp on your um, A4 piece of cardstock or your 8x11, you would just stamp down the middle like that and then um, stamp off to the sides and then cut your, your cardstock in half and then you would basically end up with four of those. Okay, and you've seen me do that. There's lots of one sheet wonders Wednesdays where I've done that. Um, so just look back. Um, I have a playlist, you know, if you want to spend a rainy afternoon with a cup of tea and some biscuits, you can watch loads of my One Sheet Wonder Wednesdays. Okay, so this is my third one. So this was going for that L design. So can you see my PowerPoint is here, okay? I didn't start my L design all the way down here. I started it slightly inwards. Now if I was planning this a little bit better, I probably wouldn't go so have gone so far off the page like that. I, I should have maybe stopped there. But that, that's hindsight for you. Okay, so this is an L shape. You've got your power point here with the focal point and then going up and, and across like that. And that leaves a perfect space then for your sentiment to go there if you want it to. Or if you don't want to interfere with that, that if you like to have a nice piece of white space at the top, that's fine. Tuck your sentiment in somewhere here. Or maybe, you know, cut up some words and, you know, put them in between. All right. So then the final one was this one here. And again, you can you can do this any any which way you want, but going for uh, a bit of a design at the top and then a little bit of a design at the bottom. And you can sort of see that they're kind of opposite. And and they're they're not mirroring each other, they're kind of like complementing each other. That one's dripping down a little bit like that, and that one's kind of like reaching up towards there. And then you've got these lovely sort of hanging elements that's drawing your eye down then to the design down below here. Okay. Right, so thank you so much for joining me. I know it's a bit of a late One Sheet Wonder Wednesday, um, and it isn't technically a One Sheet Wonder Wednesday, but um, hopefully you can see where you can use these designs um, on, in your card making. And if you have any questions, even though um, the, this, this video is going to be saved on my YouTube channel, and I, um, I'm going to have links below to, I'm going to take really lovely photos of these now and put them on my blog in the next few days. So, yeah, do fire any questions. Of course, you can also head to artfulstamping.co.uk and you can ask me questions via my blog page as well. And um, I hope you have enjoyed today and that you go and grab some stamps and start playing. Um, I know you may not have exactly this stamp set, but, you know, I'm sure you might have something that you can you can play with um, to, to, to you know, just see, see what happens. You're very welcome, Sue. Lovely to see you. And uh, thank you everyone that's joined me live on this chat. Really great to see you. And um, I hope you have a very good night's sleep um, for those of you who are watching live. And um, I hope to see you next week back with a, a one sheet wonder that hopefully I would have filmed ahead of time. Depends how I do this week. I've got um, a busy day tomorrow. And, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, take care for now. Lots of love. Bye.